Hi guys, Tay and Kay here, and we're going on our daily adventure to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> so Taylor, what are we doing today? We're going to Magic Kingdom in the happiest place on earth in Orlando, Florida. And we are going to get some food. Where are we getting food, Taylor? Uh, I don't know where we're getting food. Are we getting food at the Liberty Tree? I don't know. Well, we're going to find something. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to Tay and Kay, Taylor and Casey here. Today we are going on a little adventure to the Magic Kingdom, which is uh, in Florida, Orlando. It is the East Coast, East Coast one, not the West Coast one, Disneyland. But we're going to go to Magic Kingdom today. We're going to go find some food, possibly see some fireworks, and uh, hopefully have a good time. It's raining. Uh, it's kind of bum weather, but yeah, that's okay. We'll try and have a good time regardless. We have made it to the Magic Kingdom. I believe we're in what's called Fantasyland. I'm pretty sure this is Fantasyland. I don't know, there's, it's a small world. Super cool. We're gonna go try and find some food. Go to, I guess, Be Our Guest, and we will go from there. Oh no, I was So we went to Be Our Guest, and we found out that there is no quick service. It's only, uh, you have to have a reservation, and we don't have one, so. Quick service for breakfast and lunch, though. I just yeah. didn't know there was no good service for dinner. That's it. So we are off to Liberty Tavern. Because surprisingly, I get discounts here. So 20% off. Can't beat that. Perks of working at Disney, I guess. The only perk. <laughs> okay, so another place bites the dust. We went to Liberty Tree Tavern. And 35 minute wait. Go figure. Who would have thought you had to wait for things at Disney World? Like waiting in line, this is the place to be today. So we are off to some canteen place, like a quick service little thing. I don't know, they probably have like hot dogs kind of thing, but who knows, I'm just starving. As we have aimlessly walked around the park, trying to find somewhere to eat, we have decided upon Tomorrowland Cafe, whatever it's called, because every single place that we've been looking at um, is a restaurant and has a really long wait. Right side, we burned off all the calories. We're about to get we did, we did, we did. But the most important thing today is we are at Magic Kingdom, which, since working here at Disney, is our first day here because it's like one of my very few days off. And uh, we're going to enjoy it. And later on, we'll go to Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and maybe Animal Kingdom. Not really a huge fan of it, but we shall see. Finally got our food. We are here at I don't remember what this place is called, the Tomorrowland. Starlight. Yeah, Starlight Cafe. Been here forever. So we've been searching for food for like an hour, and we finally found it. Uh, French fries, good for unhealthiness, and uh, grilled chicken sandwiches, pretty good. And we got some wishes, not wishes, happily ever after fireworks later, and we'll go from there. Your eyes what is up, everybody? Let me explain a little bit about what's going on today. Today is pretty much just a chill day. Uh, Casey woke up at like 4.30 or something like that with plans to go to Magic Kingdom prior to that, but she likes to sleep in. Uh, and we had just planned to come to uh, Disney World and have a good time. So that's what we're doing today. We're just enjoying Magic Kingdom. We're not really going for any particular rides or anything. Uh, except for right now. Right now we're on the People Mover because it's a classic. And it's amazing. We can get a nice little shot of that. Get some People Mover. Look at that. Main Street. So it's a fun, classic ride. Um, we're gonna go into some dark areas, but should be fun. We're currently in wait for the fireworks show, and it's supposed to be brand new and super cool. It's called Happily Ever After. This is 
is, as you can see, the massive crowds. That is the happily ever after. And we are currently on Main Street. Main Street. Which is way prettier at night. And we're gonna go look in some stores while we have an opportunity. And then we'll watch some fireworks. So we got to see the fireworks. We got to do some haunted mansion ride luggage. So we did see the new fireworks show. What did you think of it, Casey? I thought it was awesome. We couldn't really see the castle from where we were at, but that's okay. We got to see the, the cool thing, which is the fireworks blowing up in the sky. Uh, maybe we'll catch it next time, possibly. We'll see. I think a really cool place to get it from would be like Bay Lake Towers, which is a uh, hotel right next to Magic Kingdom, and I think that would be pretty cool. I think next time we'll go and see one of the other shows. Maybe Hollywood Studios. We have to see the Hollywood Studios Star Wars, whatever they call it. I don't know what they call it. The Star Wars Fireworks Show. We'll figure out the Which wraps it up for being at Magic Kingdom. We got to see the castle laser projection lights, whatever it was. Is that what it's called? At the end. I don't know what it's fucking called. It's, it's pretty cool. It's some sort of projection. Holographics. It's cool. It plays on the uh, on the castle. So you got to see it after all. Just not the actual show. A little monorail action going on. Hello, monorail. Uh, we're just walking back to the car now because trams take forever. And I guess we're going to have some coffee and maybe play some video games later. And probably spend money on a new drone. Which we'll talk about why next time. That should be interesting. Uh, 
But yeah, I gotta drop a whole bunch of money. Well, let me just prefix by saying that my previous one, which you can watch the video and I'll link it in the description below, it uh, wrecked once again. This is the second time. It just decided it wanted to literally fall out of the sky. Um, it's not like the DJI's where you press down and in the center and it turns off. It actually has a start button, didn't touch it. And it just fell right into uh, the ocean. It's lovely. And they have yet to respond. But don't worry, I'm gonna make a separate rant video just for that, calling out Unique and their horrible customer service now. Before, I was very proud of them. I was very proud of them. In case you recalls that, I was very down and out when the first one wrecked, but I, I called them vacation. that day when it wrecked and I was able to talk to a human being and he was able to help me get it all set up and I got it fixed. Well, what I thought was fixed and it wrecked again. I cannot get a single person. I've sent four emails, but that's enough of that. Let's uh... I think the company's got bigger. They cannot handle their customer service. I guess so. Rest the thing while we wait so we don't get hit. But, um, we'll talk about that later, I guess. Uh, 